Hey everybody, how you doing? Day two is down in the UPS PVD for me in central Iowa. Had a pretty light day, only had about seven hours. With this video series, I've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys across the country. Let's do some quick updates of what I've learned through you. A quick first update on the phone that I am using with the mobile delivery app. As I've noted, I am using the phone that they're providing. It's a Samsung, I'm not sure what generation. Uh, but I will tell you that now that I've used it for two days, this phone is lightning fast compared to last year. Primarily, the difference that I am seeing is in the scanner, which I assume is using the, the camera lens of the phone. Uh, last year, you would have to hover the phone over the barcode tag for one to two, three seconds. And you know, that seems to take forever when you're uh, wanting to get stuff done. Anyway, uh, this year, I hover the phone, I hit the scan button, I hover the phone over the barcode, and it takes the barcode almost immediately. So I'm really pleased to report that. And I'll say one more time, uh, I know you're probably familiar with your own phone and all that, but if you have the opportunity to use the UPS provided phone, I would try that first. If you have issues, report that to them, you know, then maybe jump over to your phone. I would not use your own personal phone, keep the data chargers or the wireless chargers or whatever. You know, there's no reason to be using up your phone. Grandmaster has reported that if you have a driver's license, from a state other than the state that you are in currently that you wish to be a PVD. For example, Grand Master lives in South Dakota but winters in Florida. Just explain the situation. That will not deter you from being a PVD. A couple of you have reported that a phone interview is the first step. Tony has confirmed that after that phone interview, if you get past that your first in-person interview, if you will, is probably more of an orientation and paperwork. As Christy said, it was kind of a rough start, but then started getting the hang of it. That's the way it is. Uh, it looks a little intimidating at first, but one step at a time, one stop at a time. If you know the town that you deliver in, that helps. Texas UAV has reported, at least in the San Antonio, Texas area, they're getting a $500 sign-on bonus. As of right now, Base Camp seems to be the package king. 181 packages on one day. Wow. But he's still getting it done in 9 to 11 hours. I tell you what, if I had that many packages with the route and the configuration of the town and yada yada that I live in, that'd be over 24 hours. That just goes to show, when you see some of these numbers, don't let it intimidate you. It depends on package size. Uh, by the way, everybody jump in. What's your package size? As I've mentioned before, here in central Iowa, man, I am delivering some huge boxes. Two days in a row when I delivered my bigs, the big boxes, I do them first and get them out of the way. Two days in a row, one day was five boxes. That was it. Filled my expedition. Uh, the next day was about nine boxes. But normally, I can get in almost a hundred packages. Of course, a lot of those are envelopes. So what do you deliver? Mainly envelopes, small boxes, or just absolutely mammoth boxes you could climb into? Where do you uh, pick up your packages? Do you go to the hub center? I know Amanda reported that she was going to go meet the driver at a location and get her packages. How many times do you return to the hub? Do you load up once and then that's it for the day? You know what I'm asking for. Chime in. Let's uh, make this thing work for everybody. All right, everybody, thanks for the feedback and jumping in and giving everybody else a virtual pat on the back and telling them, you know, what's going on and what your experiences are. Let's keep this thing going. We can work together and make this a really good PVD season. All right, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.